In Medford, only one missing child case is still open. It's the oldest in the county, and while the nearly 40-year-old case is considered cold, police are still pursuing leads even now. Is it possible to abduct and murder an, a child and then hide the body of a six-year-old? That's, you know, uh, about three foot eight inches. It is possible, but usually something would turn up. Eventually, nothing has. Christy Farney went missing December 14, 1978. The then six-year-old had just been placed into foster care at a home on Peach Street while in the middle of an assault investigation involving her father. The grand jury occurred the day she went missing. When Child Protective Services brought her back to her foster home, she got ready for school. It was a, a gift exchange that day, so Christy even had a little present wrapped up. And then she was then to walk to school all the way to Jackson School, and that's what's a little bit odd about the case. Her foster mom was recovering from surgery. She watched Christy walk toward 4th Street until she was out of sight. Christy never made it to school that day and has never been seen again. It's a case that's been looked at by Medford police year after year. Christie's father, Ken, a primary suspect who passed two lie detector tests. We investigated him very thoroughly and never came up with anything that led us to believe that he would be responsible. Ken died in 1994. So what happened to Christy Farney? Police have two theories. Family who wanted to remove her from a bad situation abducted her, or Christy was taken by a total stranger. And while today her case file is showing its age, police are not giving up, even now. It's just an, another shot in the dark that we're hoping for. In the last month, the agency submitted DNA samples to Ancestry.com to try and find additional family. And while nearly four decades have passed since that six-year-old took off for school on a Thursday afternoon, police still hold out hope that someday she'll come home. We still believe that she could be alive and living under a different name and simply has no recollection of what happened in Medford. Christy Farney would be 45 years old today. This is the most recent age progression photo from 2012. Farney has brown hair and brown eyes with pierced ears and a burn scar on her chest. If you have any information on her whereabouts, you're asked to contact police.